Hello everyone. We're going to take a moment to talk about ultraviolet technology, UVC. Basically ultraviolet comes in three levels, A, B, and C. A is what tans you, that's what's coming through our clouds and our atmosphere. B can give you severe sunburns, that's what they use in the tanning salons as well, so you can't stay too long in the tanning bed. C is the next step to x-ray. Very powerful, not used in public, you should not be exposed to C because you will sunburn within a couple of minutes and it will give you headaches if you're looking at ultraviolet C through the light, okay, or straight at the light bulbs. UVC, I've been asked quite often, is it a filter? And the answer is no. UVC is a cleaning technology. UVC burns off the grease off of the surfaces that it tries to collect on, i.e. inside the hood interior, inside the ductwork, on the fan blades, on pollution control equipment. This is where the grease wants to collect and this is where it becomes a fire hazard downstream of the hood filters. So you use steam cleaning or pressure cleaning of course on all of this equipment if you do not have ultraviolet technology. If you use ultraviolet technology, basically what we do is as follows. We have cartridge filters. We want to remove 95% of 10 microns and larger. Okay? We have mesh filters as a secondary filter. And the mesh is used because what we want to do there is stop any large particulate from hitting the light bulbs. We do not want grease on the lights. Okay? Once we leave the back of the mesh with the exhaust air, now we're under 5 microns in size, and the lights love that. They burn it up. The ultraviolet light itself breaks the bond on the grease molecules and the chain molecules. Ozone, or O3, comes off of the UVC tubes, and that O3 can now oxidize all of this grease atom. And basically what we do here is we remove the majority of the grease, we make sure any large particulate over 5 microns that we don't remove at the cartridge, we collect on the mesh. As it slowly burns through the mesh, this gives the lights in the background lots of time to burn it off. The blue glow we see off the lights is actually regular light band. UVC is invisible. It is like an x-ray band. Okay? So our UVC now hits all of this grease molecule and breaks it up into a chain molecule. It still wants to collect on the hood surface, inside the ductwork, up on the exhaust fans, and pollution control equipment. But the ozone coming off of the UVC now wants to attack that grease and oxidize it. And what it does is for every two hydrogens, we add an oxygen molecule, H2O. For every carbon, we add two oxygen molecules, CO2. And we get minute or microscopic particulate in white dust. This dust is non-flammable. This dust does not build up into the ductwork. This dust is microscopic and is exhausted out to the airstream outside. You do not remove grease from the airstream. You do not remove any odors from the airstream. There's not enough time for the ozone to react with it. You only clean all of the surfaces inside and on the ductwork that the grease wants to build up on because the ozone travels over those surfaces and has plenty of time to attack the grease molecule. Let me just show you the system turned on. We've interlocked the system so the lights will be exposed, but we've put a protective cover on top of the lights. Okay? There's the blue glow. We use six tubes in our ultraviolet system because we want those tubes to have more than enough capacity for broiler use. Broilers, they create 100 pounds of grease for every 2,000 pounds of hamburger being cooked. That may not sound like a lot to some people, but trust me, 100 pounds, 10 pounds per gallon. Okay, 10 gallons of grease go up into the system for every 2,000 pounds of hamburger. If we can burn all that off with ultraviolet light, that's a bonus. And that's what the ultraviolet is designed for, okay? It cleans that interior surface of the hood. The mesh protects the light bulb. The cartridge removes the majority of the grease up front. And as long as we keep the cartridges clean and the mesh clean, 
The light will work for over 8,000 hours of operation. Thank you very much.